Tip number four has to do with the advanced settings. These are the ways that you can adjust and set up Screencastify so it's just right. It's just exactly the way that you want it to be. And so the first place to access this is by clicking on your Screencastify Chrome extension button and then hitting the gear that says settings. Now, the, the first three of these has to do with how big, basically these settings have to do with how big your video file becomes once you record it. And so by hitting the resize tab button, what you can do is change the size of the recorded image in pixels so that it's a bigger file or a smaller file. So you can resize that tab to be 720p, which is kind of like lower HD, kind of like high def. Uh, 400, 480p is more like standard definition, and then you can go even smaller than that. And the smaller you go, the lower quality your video will be, but it also means the smaller the file size is. So if uploading your files is an issue, like I live in kind of in the middle of nowhere and I have very slow rural internet. And so having smaller file sizes for me means that I'm able to upload a little bit faster. And so resizing the tab beforehand is really nice. Uh, limiting the resolution of your files. That means that no matter what size the, the the file the recording is, it'll make sure that it's at this resolution. And then the frame rate, the frame rate is the number of frames per second and it defaults at 30 frames per second. Now the less that you go, the choppier your video will show up, but the more, the, the more that you can limit the size of the file. So if you wanna make smaller file sizes of your videos, these are some nice ways to be able to do it. The auto stop means that you're able to, it basically just stops your video after two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, and then if you've got the, the premium, it'll stop it after 30 minutes. Now, there's even more options that you can create as well by clicking on the little three lines up here and clicking on options. It'll take you to the Screencastify options page where you can change where you save your videos, of how you get notifications. You can even configure your keyboard shortcut so that you can hit a single key on your keyboard to, to perform certain commands. And then you can change a whole bunch of other stuff all the way down through here. So being able to change all of those little options to make Screencastify just the way that you want it, it's pretty nice.